Well, amen. Well, if you're anything like me, um, many times in your daily Bible reading, and I trust you do read the scriptures every day, um, you come across a passage that kind of hits you hard, either in the area of conviction or just something that the Lord um, knew that you needed to hear or needed to apply to your life, which is why I felt the need to come to this text today in Hebrews. Um, sometimes uh, as we preach uh, expositionally through a text of scripture. Of course, we're going to be back in Hebrews next week. Um, sometimes you need to push the pause button and, uh, and preach individual sermons. And in this particular case, a sermon that I need to hear. And so I'm preaching at myself so that I know that I'm going to hit somebody today. And so, uh, <laughs> but that said, uh, this text is all about forgiveness. And forgiveness is one of those areas that I think that uh, every one of us tends to struggle with at some point in our lives, especially as sinners. When somebody hurts us in some way, shape, or form, it can be, become very easy to become indignant, it can become very uh, easy to become resentful uh, towards the person who wronged us. And Peter, I think, echoes that reality loud and clear uh, in his question to Jesus there as our passage starts in verse 21. He says, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? And to Peter, that was a lot, because Peter was probably referring at that time to a very common rabbinic teaching at that time that taught that really forgiveness should only be shown uh, about three times. You only needed to forgive three times, and then you were, at that point, allowed to retaliate or hold a grudge. And Peter obviously understood at this point of being under Jesus' teaching for, for so long.